What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Showing you do shit. Hey man, say man, we are lit, eh? Lit up to man. Turn, 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 turn. Today? Some motherfucking day? Straight hood and outside crib, man. Gang, gang. Hey man, say man. I hope y'all enjoying these videos, man. Coming from the north side, you know what I'm saying? Tyler, man. Getting lit, man. Gang shit, man. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. Hey man, say man. This is crazy, man. I hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. You know we try to get turned out here, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe these videos up, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Crip out here, man. Um, you know, come to spread the positivity, but at the same time, let it be known what's going on in this bullish, man. A lot is going on, man, and it need to be spoken on ASAP. No motherfucking Rocky, nigga. Real deal spill. We finna talk about that. Come to this black hip Israelite, man. Stay up, and we end this bitch. All right. Boom. Today? It's motherfucking day. Straight hood outside Crip, man. All right, gang. Now, this is insane, crazy, wild, whatever the fuck you want to call it, gang. So, little baby, man. Y'all all know Mr. Sandwich in between little baby. Now, the other nigga get the front end and the other nigga get the back end. Pause if you need them. Oh, this a whole video finna be a pause. Little baby man is out here being sandwiched up, bro. It's this shit is making like no motherfucking sense. You know what I'm saying? Now we all been seeing videos of, of little baby getting exposed um, at the all white party, which we got videos in this, and people calling him out. You know what I'm saying? And it, it didn't stop there, bro. The girl had exposed him about um. Him flying, him flying it out for uh, and he and she eating his ass. So we might have a video by little baby trying to counter sue her 25 k. Somebody she got paid the buku stacks to eat his ass, Paul. So this shit is wild. And another video came out. This nigga grabbed little baby ass. Then there was another video came out. It was nothing crazy. It was little baby, um, some dude was trying to touch him, and little baby get like, I guess grab his arm or some shit. Say what's up? Little baby got super heated. Say don't touch me. And I was saying and some some shit crazy, man. So I got this video. It's not. I ain't putting the video in because that's too much for YouTube. I'm gonna put the clip in of a, of a clip was go, going around the internet, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put that bit in. It's just a clip, like a picture. Now. This is wild because if y'all see from that from what's going on, everybody's saying little baby out here getting the gop gop three thousand. They trying to say little baby out here is the throat the throat goat the throat goat Megatron out here, bruh. Like what the fuck is going on, man? This nigga is like a jackhammer trying to do some other shit to a grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? Now. Little baby had responded to this shit. I don't know if y'all look on the internet. Y'all just look on the internet. Y'all can look on TikTok, Twitter, anything. Just look up little baby getting exposed. And y'all probably see what the fuck going on. Now, this is getting wild, man. A grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? Out here. You know what I'm saying? And, okay, we're going to put the videos in now. What's up? It's your girl, Yama Amy, with All Urban Central. Period. Know. I do this shit. Y'all type right, well, 
That's your bitch, that's my bitch too. Don't forget. So there's a video going around of somebody with like the little face that looks kind of like little baby, you know, at the bottom, he kind of like his jaws kind of stick out. I don't know if it's maybe from the irks or something like that. But anyway, there's a video going around of let's just say Buddy is chomping down on a uh, BBC, you know, tell me if you know what that means. And while he's chomping down on the BBC, people is believing that it is a video of Lil Baby. Now, it's no way in blue hell I can put that video on YouTube because they will do some damage and stuff to the channel so i won't put it there but i'm sure y'all probably already seen the video uh and pretty much got y'all's own opinions on if y'all believe it's a little baby or not now little baby himself has came back and responded and i'm gonna tell y'all what his response was right after the intro Way so little baby had to respond expeditiously to the person chomping down on that thing, y'all talking about because of right now his name is trending on Twitter, it's trending everywhere because of the video that's actually circulating. And he came out and said, Y'all gotta stop using my name and likeness when y'all get bored. The extremes motherfuckers go to for clout is sick, ain't no mystery in my history on no level. Because what that person was actually doing would have definitely created some type of level of huge mystery in buddy's history on you know, somebody as far as who he likes and likes to spend his time to and um intimate times with right but then he also says this my last time addressing any kind of dumb clickbait the wrong with y'all then he put no flaws no cap in my rap so it's, it's actually a great thing that he came out of responding to this because how viral this is going on the internet right now simply because okay yes you can admit that the video the guy favors little baby but there's a long strip down the middle where it cuts off literally half of the face you know what i'm talking about or the very middle part of the face so you can't see the nose you can't see the lips you can't see pretty much you can't 100 percent say okay that's him now but they would have take that little strip part away then you'll be able to see uh but you know whoever released this video definitely did you know knew that they had either either him or they had somebody to look like him to uh you know pretty much try to go viral which is definitely going viral so mission accomplished for that but this video does come out on the heels of the whole why you let another grown man fill up on your boot that little thing that happened and of course the all white party so that's i think that pushes people more to believe of particular things may be certain stuff uh but like i said he came out this spelled the rumors let y'all know it's not him but if y'all seen the video let me know in the comment section if y'all believe that's little baby or not let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out scandal so an instagram model recently made claims on the we in miami podcast that she ate little baby's grocery with little baby's ass oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. he gave me forty thousand dollars <laughs> so little baby has slid in my dms he asked me if i was in miami and I told him, yeah. He texted me, told me to pull up. And the first time we linked up was weird. He kept touching me. Like, I get it. You know, you like, you got a lot of people. That's just a setup situation. But it was just weird. Cause I, he kept touching me. And he was just rubbing at me. Like it, it, it got, it got to the point where I felt like, okay. Is he like trying to figure out if I'm a woman or a man? <laughs> And then after that, we f it was fascinating, honestly. <laughs> Lil' Baby.
baby is not taking these allegations lightly, reports suggest that he might be gearing up to sue the Instagram model for $75,000. Lil Baby has every right to sue. These women get on these It's coming off your head. Six, bra six braids off the back of your head if you fall asleep from 5 p.m. until 4 a.m. My entire head. Bet. You know what I mean? He always clutching. Can't nobody touch him. He would never let somebody get this close to him. But then when y'all get around these type of Caucasian men, they just have y'all doing any and everything. First, it was Kanye was in a car with Kim one time and he was washing somebody's hands or cutting somebody's meat or something. And then Meek was hopping around like a bunny rabbit. It's like, and we're not dumb. Like when you get around certain people, you know you have to be a certain level of disrespect when you're black. So it's like, it shows me what type of manhood and when you're in different positions, who you're trying to be, but who you really are at the core. I'm just saying. And they always post a picture to prove and make sure you know you better stay in line. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Listen, basis loaded bottom and a ninth. You guys saw in the first clip, Michael Rubin told Lil Baby, if you lose a bet, I'm going to cut your hair off. Listen, Michael Rubin talks real tough. I don't, listen, this is the difference between myself. This is the difference between a celebrity. See, I can't go around billionaires because at the end of the day, I will have to hit him with a two-piece and a biscuit. I don't care how much money you have, you're not going to talk to me real tough. Michael Rubin is talking like he's the biggest gangster of all gangsters, and that's the downfall of capitalism. When you believe money is power, and before I start this video, I'm going to keep shouting out to the mountaintops, God is power. Money is not power. God is power. Let it breathe. But when you feel money is power, you're going to let people with more money talk crazy to you. Listen, shout out to that young black queen in the second video. She said, little baby does not let people get close to him. Little baby does not let people touch him. That's true. When little baby's around black people in Atlanta... You can't just run up and touch little baby. You can't hug little baby. Little baby is the most antisocial person when he's around black people. When he gets around white people, little baby, you could touch his hair. You could do whatever you want to do to little baby if you got billions. Let me tell you guys something. The Michael Rubin agenda and the Meek Mill agenda and the little baby agenda, we have to break this down. Meek Mill and little baby, they're like two little side chicks. They want to retire off of Michael Rubin's success. I don't care if they're in the industry or not. They still have the mindset of a parasite. Yes, Little Baby's a parasite. Meek Mills is a parasite. You guys have to understand, Meek Mills doesn't make music anymore. First of all, he's in a lifelong contract with Rick Ross and MMG. At the end of the day, he needs to make music to get, to get out that contract. But Meek Mills feel like, oh, I'm going to be the next Hove. Listen, Hove, and this is the reason I'm starting off the clip. He was the one that sold the illusion to all rappers that you could be. You cannot go to these parties unless you go both ways. When you see Drewski, these guys go both ways. When you see the guy in the middle, no pun intended, they go both ways. When you see Little Baby, listen, this is a billionaire's party. But take it back. This is an industry party. This is what the industry looked like. Listen, whoever created the cell phone, thank you. Whoever created the internet, thank you. With technology, we now are able to see what is going on behind the scenes before cell phones were invented. You have to understand these parties always existed. There was nothing new under the sun. Billionaires inviting black men and taking advantage of their bodies. There is nothing new under the sun. A lot of people always want to say the white man is on my back. The white man is on my back. Literally, the white man is on his back. Let me tell you guys something. Little baby in the streets, he doesn't even smile. Little baby has a straight face. He's a character. At the end of the day, little baby is smiling from air to air and he's hugging an NBA player with blue hair looking like Sonic the Hitchhawk. At the end of the day, something is wrong with this picture. Michael Rubin says he claimed he's from Philadelphia. Shout out to Philadelphia. They claim to be the city of brotherly love. Philadelphia is like Baltimore. Bodies drop every hour to the hour. There is no brotherly love in Philadelphia. So there is no reason, zero excuses for this picture. Listen, as young men, you have a personal space. And I'm going to say this again because this is the first time making this video. This is my first time talking about it. Not to get off topic, but I was at Starbucks the other day. I saw a guy and I saw a girl. 
the guy, when I was walking out the door, he tapped me on my back because I guess he couldn't get my attention. So I thought he was going to tell me, my friend, think you cute because that has happened before in the back. But this guy smiling from air to air, he was into me and he told me, is there anything that I need prayer for? I told him, Brown said, no, I don't need prayer for anything. And I gave him the camera on part of my back being I walked off on him. But at the end of the day, you guys have to understand you have a personal space now. The guy, he tapped me, but he stepped back. He wasn't in my personal space. Somebody please come over here and look at this and tell me what little baby got going on. Please. So this is the man that was choking on a BBC glizzy in which everybody thought it was little baby. It turns out that no, it was not little baby. Now this guy in a position that he was in inside of that video, don't know if y'all saw it or not. They probably don't want to see it. Some of y'all probably do, but he definitely did look like little baby because they actually put the long little line down the middle, which kind of covered up his nose and his lips. And obviously little baby got dreads. And in that particular video, he had the same hairstyle uh, that little baby had at a particular time. But no, ladies and gentlemen, that was not little baby. It's been confirmed 1000%. This is the suspect right here, right? And, you know, uh, you know, just looking at the video, of course, a lot of people had the speculation. Some people just hate little baby just to hate him. Uh, some people just, they didn't know what to think. And they were just amazed like, oh my gosh, I mean, he is from Atlanta. But no, turns out it wasn't little baby. This is the guy that it was and also i the reason i put this guy's uh if that, i don't know if that's ig or his twitter i think it's his twitter the reason i put all that i didn't block it out because if y'all do want to just verify that it's him and that little baby there goes all the details wanted the rumors that he's appeared in a newly gay adult tape and he's been saying that these people are sick clout chasers the Atlanta rapper became a trending topic on X, aka Twitter, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, on Sunday, October 22nd, after an explicit video of a man performing oral sex on another man began circulating. Some claim that the man performing the act resembled Little Baby, while the video itself was plastered by captions that mentioned him by name such as No Little Baby, Shocked Emoji Face, and Not Little Baby Getting Wild. Man, this is crazy, right? After the graphic footage went viral, sparking a flood of both shocked reactions and jokes at Little Baby's expense on social media, Little Baby took to his Instagram stories to set the record straight. Quote, Y'all got to stop using my name and likeness when y'all get bored. Then the extreme uh, motherfuckers go to f uh, go too far with the clout chasing. Uh, it's just sick. Ain't no history uh, or ain't no mystery in my history on no level. He wrote, this was my last time addressing any kind of dumbass clickbait. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Face palm emoji. No flaws. No cap in my raps. Now. I ain't gonna lie, man. When it comes to this, is all alleged too. This is an alleged tape, alleged rumors, uh, allegations, you know, on a little baby. So we don't know, right? But knowing the way that the industry is, I'm not surprised by anything. So would I be surprised if it was little baby? No. If if little baby came out gay is right now, I would not be surprised whatsoever because we've seen it multiple times whether it's an artist coming out whether it's an artist getting caught whether it's an artist getting exposed you know it this happens right so there's been uh you know rumors about little uh baby and james harden's friendship for years now people claiming that they're way too close to just be buddy buddy uh this is all alleged uh, if it was if i was being honest it does look a little weird to me just how, yeah, it's just weird. I, I remember a little, remember James Harden didn't come to like uh, practice one time or so. I forgot who what team he was with, whether it was the Nets. Shit, it could have been uh, the, uh, the Houston. And he was like in Paris with little baby, you know, <laughs> just because, you know, or they, they go on these little getaway boys trips and stuff like that, which I'm not saying that. You can't do that which with the homies and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section. I could be rambling. I just feel like their relationship is just a little weird. Um, but do you believe that it was Little Baby in the tape? I've never seen it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. But it's a lot of people were saying that 
It's Little Baby. Tell me what you think. This is Great T News, and I'm bet I'll be back for another video. I'm out. In the planet, true story, the white party, there were 350 people went through 600 bottles of alcohol. It's a 13-hour party. You have to be of a special training to be able to survive. At one point, I think I jumped on his shoulders, and, and Alex was right over there. Grabbed a picture of it, I guess. Uh, apparently, you tell me that that's not culturally right to give somebody a hug. I think it's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I hug my friends all the time. Yes. Okay. All my friends. White, black, little, big, doesn't matter. Like, I'm, I'm all love all the you time. You gave me a hug when I walked there. They're trying to pause you for hugging, dude. You're just hugging. The hug was about one second, and, <laughs> and then... You know, 50 Cent, I guess, is desperate for headlines, so he went out and, 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 and tried to beat up my baby. He's the dumbest shit plan. Like, I'm making hugging in the hood, hood cool. Like, by the way, why should, by the way, you're so talking about growing up in a ruthless environment. I want to spread love everywhere I can. That was the 76ers owner speaking on how he was hugged up on little baby at that white party. Little baby looking d d d uncomfortable as a motherfucker. Now he's trying to justify going around hugging grown men from the back. Talking about, I, I hug people. Just because you hug people don't mean somebody wants you all hugged up on them, okay? And this is this is where I know he capping. Because he's not going up to no females just hugging them from the back like this. Because why he not doing that? Because his ass would be me too. That's why he ain't doing it. So he just want to do it. And brothers, you just think you just go hugged up on men? Because you're not doing it to no females. Because you can't do that. You cannot just walk up on some random female and hug her like how he hugging on little baby like this. He can't do it. You can't be in a workplace hugging up on a female employee like this. You can't do it. So we know that. So you don't need to be doing it to brothers either, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He tried to justify just hugging up on motherfuckers and shit like touchy-touchy with motherfuckers and shit. It's just a hug. I just be, you know, hugging up on people now. You don't be hugging up on people. You be hugging up on men because you would be me too if you was running around hugging females like that. A, a regular grown man can't even walk around just hugging up on no females like they were hugging up on men like that. Man, stop, stop with the touchy-touchy. You got money so you feel like you can just be touchy-touchy with niggas. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he... If if that nigga like them touchy-touchy games, that's on him. But most grown men ain't trying to be getting hugged up from the back by another man. One, the streets, they pick and choose who they want to win. And the streets, they pick and choose who they want to lose. 50 Cent is trying to separate himself from the industry like he doesn't have to party with them. Listen, they made 50 Cent's party. Now... Here goes little Dirk Savage. Uh, here goes little Dirk Savage. Twenty one is in a later clip, but at the end of the day, little Dirk is down. Little Dirk goes both ways. Little Dirk, as you see the symbolism on his neck, the one eye, the all seeing eye, the eye of Lucifer. Little Dirk was unemployed. He was running around Chicago, Lamron, and at the end of the day, little Dirk he wanted the lifestyle as well, just like little baby wanted the lifestyle as well. Listen. To everybody out there, remember, a 9 to 5 save lives. And you're probably thinking, Mr. Keep It Simple, can I move in the Hamptons with a 9 to 5? Yes, you make it a townhouse in the Hamptons. Listen, at the end of the day, sometimes you have to be content. A townhouse in the Hamptons is better than, guess what? A, uh, I mean, it, it, it's still just as good as a mansion. At the end of the day, if you live in the Hamptons, damn it, you live in the Hamptons. Stack your crumbs and build your pot. Look at these two young men. They were both unemployed. Little baby, he was unemployed in Atlanta. I'm the only one making content about guys being unemployed, trying to make the transition. And this is how they end up getting popped at these industry parties because they feel that they can make money without having a job. Little Dirk was in Chicago. If you look at his work employment history, you will find out that he never worked a job. At the end of the day, little, little baby, if you check his resume, you're going to find out his resume was the streets. His resume was 4PF. Listen, at the end of the day in capitalism, and we're going to get into capitalism, you cannot make money in the streets and you cannot make money without having bank transactions. A lot of these dudes, they want fast money. They want to live a fast life. And when they get older and they have kids, they're going to later regret it. Little Dirk has kids. 
He had to sell his soul and he had to sell his body. Little baby has kids. He had to sell his soul and he had to sell his body. Listen, as a single man, listen, life gets real as is. Imagine having kids. A lot of these dudes were in the streets. They were getting fast money and they were procreating. Now it later caught up to them. You guys have to understand, they had a party with men walking around with their butt cheeks out like Kiki Palmer. Why is little Dirk? I'll be back. So if y'all seen from that motherfucking video, man, this is getting this is getting crazy. Now, if y'all seen from the motherfuckers, everybody's talking about it. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's putting one and one and two and two and three and three together. And we all figuring out what the fuck is going on. Now, like I said, little baby has responded and said no. He's not doing any of that. You know what I'm saying? He said it was like a dry moment and motherfuckers just want to put his name out here. Now, this is getting crazy because the video, it looks just like Lil Baby. You know what I'm saying? They have the hairstyle and everything. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know what the fuck is going on. The nigga had the, the rings on like Lil Baby was wearing in the fucking video I posted. Bro, this is getting crazy, bro. And it's the only thing that make it look believable is the dress. He had the rings on. The stage is almost built like that motherfucker, bro. This is getting... Wow, bruh. And it's like, you know, you want to be like surprised. Like, hell no. That can't be little Baby. But we don't know these days. You know what I'm saying? When they get around these white billionaires, you know what I'm saying? They will do anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's up and stuck with these, with these motherfucking celebrities. You know what I'm saying? They get around these white billionaires, you feel me? And they see a little bit, they see somebody with a little bit of money. They start acting a whole fool out here. Now y'all see these bets that's going on. Y'all see these bets that's going on about um if you fuck like like if, okay if you if you miss a, a thing you got bunny hop. If you do this you gotta cut your braids off. And, and that's, they was talking a little baby about that shit. If you do this you gotta cut your braids off. So it's like if these niggas make up these crazy bets, who knows what these niggas would, would bet for ten million dollars? Cause y'all remember these niggas are billionaires, so ten million dollars probably ain't that so much to these niggas. Who know what these niggas would do for ten million million dollars? You know what I'm saying? Like this, this, that, this day and age, bro, is, is is getting wild, man. You know, it like whatever they using against these motherfuckers is working. You know what I'm saying? Because. You know, it's, it's lately just Lil Baby getting exposed left and right. You know what I'm saying? He getting exposed left and right. You feel me? And it don't make sense because it's like, you know, your music not matching up to nothing you talking about. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you out here really just out here getting a sloppy toppy 800,000 800, out here to some grown ass man, you're a wild man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all crazy out here, bro. Ain't no damn way niggas out here just really doing some shit like this, man. You know, these niggas be so fucking celebrity famous out. And it's like, we seen multiple, we seen multiple motherfucking, like, crip. We seen multiple motherfucking rappers who get, ex who, who expose they self or get exposed. Now, I don't know who told these niggas, like, I don't know what's in their mind. Like, if you doing some shit like that, who the fuck, who the fuck let niggas pull out cameras? I was gonna just pause. Like, who's doing that shit? Like, it like, it's like either you want to get exposed or it was just like you want, it was gonna happen no matter what anyway. Like, that just that this shit is just getting too much out here in this society, man. You know, to eat they motherfucking own, man. But at the same time, man, you can't just be out here wild and geeky like this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of this shit, man. Y'all are grown ass people, man. Y'all need to keep this to yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like. Y'all post, like, whoever, whoever posts this shit on the internet is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, who is, um, who got, who had the video is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because, it's like, what the fuck, nigga? Nobody was talking about nothing, nothing like that shit. But then, motherfuckers post some shit, bro, and everybody, like, it's all on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? It's all on TikTok. <laughs> it about to be all on YouTube in a minute. This came out, like, what, two, three days ago? You know what I'm saying? This is getting crazy, bruh. It's just so many people in this society, man. It's just like, they just don't give a fuck no more, man. You feel me? They, 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 they just out here just 
doing anything. And halftime is for a bag. You know what I'm saying? You out here doing crazy shit for a bag. That's wild. You know what I'm saying? For a bag of money, man, it's crazy, man. And it's crazy because little baby, man, we know when he got groped on by them by them white people and by that pe that person at the motherfucking award thing. He did a song. And it was called March Madness. I mean, not March Madness. It was called March Merch Merch Madness. And the person he, he shot out, Merch Madness, was a nigga he, who hugged him. Then the nigga who hugged him talking about, oh yeah, uh, he always hugged his friends. And I might put that video in town. I gotta, I gotta remember all these videos that I put in, man. Cause I don't put them in. Get it? I'm forgetting. But uh, he, he was talking about how he always hugs his friends, and he does it just to just to hug. You know what I'm saying? And he like he he was like he was like, man, I hug everybody, but not from the behind. And he was talking. About, he was like, oh yeah, he was just getting drunk, and you know when you get drunk, you know shit happens. Like what? That's that's a horrible response, nigga. When you get drunk, shit just don't happen. You know what I'm saying? Like what fuck is we doing? And he was like, it don't matter what color you is. Bro, stop the cat, bro. Y'all are weird, bro. You know what I'm saying? And all this shit right here, little baby, is not panning out. You know what I'm saying? But, it, you know, it's good that he responded to it. Because if he didn't respond to this shit, this shit would have went like fire, nigga. I don't know how rappers can do this shit, man, with, with motherfuckers put out allegations like this, nigga. Or just on some crazy shit or mess with a, trans, a transmission. And don't respond to it, it's crazy, nigga. Cause it, if anybody put my name on some crazy shit like that, nigga, I'm responding hella quick. Oh hell no, nah, nigga. What are we talking about? Nigga, I'm tripping. Uh, ain't no damn way, nigga. Ain't no damn way you put me in any of that shit. What are we talking about? You know what I mean? I can just on some real spill. You know, but some rappers just don't stay. No, I'm like, bro, ain't no damn way, nigga. Ain't no damn way somebody put my name in this type of situation, and I'm not, and I'm not responding to it. I don't know what the fuck these niggas be thinking, man. Like, even if it's for clout, still, you know what I'm saying? You just want to be on top of that shit, man. You don't want no bull, you don't know bullshit like that just spreading around, everybody believing this shit, and like, what the fuck, nigga? Unless the shit is just happened, that's what nine times ten. I think niggas don't want to just don't want to say it because. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's just like shit don't shit shit don't add up, man. And you know that thing about the transmission, man. I man, I think I can't, man. That's why I be trying to say. I be trying to tell a lot of people, man. That shit is crazy, man, because it's like the motherfucker be looking like female palms. You know what I'm saying? And niggas out here famous as hell be be getting slipped up with these motherfucking men, and they be like. And they be like, they be, they be trying to tell people what's the fuck going on. No, the fuck they don't, bro. They be trying to trick everybody and anybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, the society is so fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't trust nothing no more. You know what I'm saying? You're in the club. You can't really have all the fun you want anymore. You can't do nothing no more. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, motherfuckers, it's all, motherfuckers are, are looking to get... To, to get people got, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and it's like, it's so fucking weird because it's like, you know, these motherfuckers, they, I don't know, they be feeling themselves and it's like, bro, what the fuck, bro, you trying, you, so motherfuckers be trying to ruin motherfucking lives, you know what I'm saying? So, this shit right here, bro, you know, you don't want, you, motherfuckers like this, you know what I'm saying, can ruin a, a motherfucking career. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want no shit like that going out on your motherfucking name, nigga. What you be doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like when it, when that lady came out to my she eating, she ate little baby ass. It's like, God damn, nigga. It's like, bro, it's like everything is like adding up to like, you feel me? Like on some just crazy, like crazy, crazy shit, man. And that that's what we've been going. That's what we're gonna talk about today, man. In my next video too, we're gonna talk about that too, man. It's like, what's going on with this generation? You know what I'm saying? Like. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not that nigga, cause they in the video I put the uh they were trying to say it was that other nigga. Who fucking knows these days, man? The world is a crazy place, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers will have motherfuckers do anything these days, man. It's just like 
if you, if you ran by the dollar, man, you'll do anything these days, man. These motherfuckers out here will do anything, man. That's why I be trying to tell all these motherfuckers who be watching these rappers or people, don't do exactly like everything these motherfuckers be doing, you know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers will do anything. Not say all the rappers, but some of them, you know what I'm saying? Look at that nigga. Oh, what that nigga ain't go up? Not go up, because it's not, not Gucci, but that nigga Lou up. What the fuck? That nigga Mo up. That nigga who was, um, who, talking about he came out as a female. He had tattoos all over his face. Nigga started wearing a crop top. Talking about he was a whole female out sure. You can't listen to half what these rappers be saying. They actually are doing fruitcake shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes, like I said, man, it don't even be off they motherfucking, they, they want to do it. They just, they getting paid to do it. Oh, uh, you doing like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just don't understand it, man. Um, but one thing I, 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 that was good for Lil Baby, he responded to it. You know what I'm saying? As long as he responded to it, because if he didn't respond to this shit, man, this shit would have went left. Hella fast. Like, you only get, you know, if some shit like this came out, and you know you didn't do it, you only got like two, three days to, to respond to it. If you wait a week, two weeks to respond to this shit, yep, it's over. <laughs> it's over. If if this, if, if people would have responded like two weeks later, two weeks later after this shit, it's over. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, say man, I hope y'all enjoyed these videos, man. Hey, in these videos, man, I'm just trying to let y'all niggas know. I always peep out. The situation. It don't matter who it is. It can be a bitch. It can be a, a nigga. White, black, Mexican. It don't fucking matter. These motherfuckers got attention. I'm not saying all of them, but some of them. And you just gotta you just watch out, man. You know, you gotta stay prayed up in this bitch. Keep Yahweh first. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hood and I'm sorry. Clear. Hey, Dad. You know what I want. We need to talk about this shit. Be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Hold that everywhere.